Hi folks, today I want to tell you about my influences botanically when I was growing up. I got interested in botany and the uses of plants, ethnobotany, uh, when I was in, before I was in high school actually. And of course, I took botany classes. And I took botany classes in college. You need to have the basics to learn these things. But I also sought out and found a lot of good teachers in the area. The most notable was Dr. Leonid Inari, who I managed to understudy with at the LA County Arboretum. And he was a fascinating individual. But I want to show you some of the books that I used along the, along the way to learn from. There, of course, was Bradford Angier. I don't have a copy to show you today. Uh, the first book that I ever actually purchased was Food in the Wilderness, by far the worst book I've ever seen. The pictures are misleading. Uh, the descriptions are such that you know the authors never really did it. So I do not advise this book. I eventually got uses, Early Uses of California Plants by Balls. It's a very good book from the um, University of California Press, still in print. I got Alan Hall's Wild Food Trail Guide, published in 1970. It's kind of for the Eastern United States, but a lot of it I could find here in Southern California. Edible Wild Plants by Donald Kirk. This plant, this book is incredibly comprehensive. You cannot identify anything from this book, but there's so much in here that I recommend that you get it for your libraries because it, I, I don't know of another book that is so comprehensive. So not for ID, but for what is actually edible that's out there. And I don't know anybody who's uh, teaching and studying these things today that hasn't been influenced in some way by Yul Gibbons. This is his Beachcombers Handbook. I bought all of the books of his. Uh, I eventually met Yul Gibbons. This is my latest book, Foraging California. And I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a little picture of me and Yul Gibbons back when we met in uh, 1974, 1975. It was the year that he died. So folks, to learn botany, to learn ethnobotany, uh, yes, you could study online, you could read books, but I do highly recommend you, you find people locally and study from them. Whether it's uh, at a local nursery, at a local university, a local college, you really must see the actual plants in person, get to know them throughout the growing season, and then begin to use them one by one. There is no shortcut. You don't go by whether the plant is bristly or this or that. You know the individual plant or the families, and you do your field work. And that way you can do your foraging safely. Thank you for watching today. See you next time.